Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guess what time it is? Testing time. I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, don't forget that like and subscribe button. Today, we're going to test our Carlson's cremator chokes. Both our mid-range and our long range. And I think it's going to be a good test. We're going to test 20, 30, 40. Compare each one side by side. Maybe help somebody just out there make a decision what they want to shoot this year. So here we go. Okay, so for each of these tests, we're going to be shooting the Rio 3-inch three 3-shot. Three so that I was able to pick a bunch up the other day. And we're going to start with the mid-range choke at 20 yards. Then we're going to go long range. Then we're going to go mid-range 30, long range 30, mid-range 40, long range 40. Got the Bronco 80 Affinity 3. That beautiful buck and duck sticker right there. Look at that guy. Here we go. We're just going to aim for the center of that circle on that target. I'm not going to waste my good targets on this one. Just cardboard. So I definitely hit a little higher than I was wanting to, but you guys can get the gist of it here. We have a very tight pattern here. It's a little bit of stringing up here, but really pretty tight for 20. Now we'll set it up on another target. Shoot our long range choke at 20 and go from there. Now we're going to switch out our chokes here for the Carlson's long range choke. Now I got a little bit of a unique setup here. My mid range choke is ported and my long range is not. So we have a little bit of variance there. Tell you what, by the end of this, I'm going to be very, very quick at changing my chokes out. I am sure. There we go. Now we are going to do long range choke 40 yards. Man, I put that water right through the middle of the paper. <laughs> well, all this, all this tells me is that you could probably hit your duck with a wad at 20. But, here we go. Pattern. Oh, there's a little wind. Everything is not a single BD outside the circle. As you can see, very nice pattern with the giant rip in the middle from the wad. And, not bad. Now we've got our same target at 30 yards. Turn the table a little bit. Get out there a little bit farther. This time we're starting with the long range choke in. That way I don't got to switch them quite as many times. Here we go. 30 yards. Long range choke. So we got a little bit more spread on this one. You can see here I aimed a little, Apparently I got a little bit high on my pattern though. One gap down there at the bottom. I think I was aiming a little bit high though. You can see we got some BBs up in here, but really, had I brought that down just a little bit, we'd have one gap here, one gap there. As far as pattern density, majority of them right there in the middle. Not too shabby for the Carlson's long range choke. These chokes changed out again. Our Franke. Ronky sends a nice choke tube wrench with their guns for sure, you guys. Compared to some of the others, I really like theirs. Really, I like everything about them, so here's my ported mid-range choke. And tight. Let's go ahead and check it out. Put hearing protection on. Rio, load it up. So I'm walking up. I do notice there's already quite a bit better spread. But at 30 yards, I might actually like this pattern better with this particular gun choke tube combo. Now these are four foot by four foot pieces of cardboard I got from my local tractor supply store. So what you can see there is a really nice pattern in the middle and I would say less gaps than my other long range choke at 30 so 
really at 20 I didn't see much of a difference at 30 here I would say the wind goes to the mid-range choke let's see what happens at 40 okay this will be the last round we're doing 40 yards now we've got the mid-range choke in for the first shot load it up move over a little bit and protection here we go here we go kind of a cool side note if you do end up doing some testing yourself and you have a new gun they say you're supposed to shoot at least two to five hundred magnum rounds to break it in an inertia system so by testing you're breaking in your gun it's another positive Okay, so as we get up here at 40, I've really got quite a bit of a spread pattern here. Got some, quite a few stringers up top. Decent density, but now we are starting to get some holes, like down here. We've got a hole there. Kind of a gap here at the bottom. Decent spread through the middle and decent spread through the top. So, you know, it's got a decent pattern at 40, but... We'll see how the full choke does. Our last round of testing here. We're gonna take out our mid-range choke and exchange it for our long-range choke. There we go. Tighten her up. And hand protection on. Load it up. 40 yards. Here we go. So as we walk up the target here, we see, man, definitely at 40 yards, and this is kind of be expected, at 40 yards, it's a better pattern. Not as many gaps, not a whole lot outside of the circle, there's a few, quite a bit up top here, some string there, but I mean, really good density right there in the middle of our circle. I mean, it's kind of a toss up. I would say for sure that you get a couple more pellets on target at 40. But we're going to go ahead and circle them all. We'll circle where the densest part of the pattern is. So you guys can kind of see like a diameter, generic diameter of what each one was. Okay. So this is going to be a comparison of how tight our patterns are. Just a side by side. You guys can see them next to each other. This is the mid-range side, that's the long-range side. Basically, I drew our circles here around the outermost pellets I could find. And really here, actually surprisingly, minus it's some stragglers, the long-range choke, as you guys can see. So this is the mid-range one here. This is where I was aiming. The long-range one here is actually a hair more with a little bit the density of the pattern is actually spread out a little bit more, which is surprising out of the mid-range show. Now when we go here to, this will be 30 yards, so we have about, that's a 28 inch circle. That's obviously a little bit over from where I was aiming here in the middle, but it is what it is. So I try to find the outermost babies that were complete liars. Our entire four foot piece of plywood, and so that's.
that's going to be interesting compared to if we come back over here to our piece that has fallen down. I hope that video was helpful for any of you guys who are trying to decide what choke to shoot this year. Now these are both the Carlsons. I like the Carlsons better. I like having an extended choke tube because if you have a failure, hopefully you blow out your choke tube and not your barrel. Worst case scenario I know, but hey, stuff happens. So anyways, you guys make your choices. Don't forget that like and subscribe button. Please subscribe. Only 83 of you are not subscribed, so come on. 83% is a lot. Hit that button for me. See you on the next one.